Hey guys, I just want to show you on how to turn on orthographic mode and then I'll just briefly show you a way that you can use it. So, you know, seeing this perspective mode, it's not the best thing to um, uh, go in there and start dimensioning from because it kind of, you know, it's a perspective on like uh, how we would see it. But if we want it to kind of look flat so that we can get, you know, more of uh, correct dimensions off of it and stuff, we can come up here to the viewpoint tab and then on the... Uh, cameras panel if we click this perspective button we can change this to orthographic and there you go um, you know something that, that I do is I'll change it to that and then I'll come over to my uh, sectioning box over here and I'll just make sure to enable it which is going to give us this sectioning tools uh, little temporary um, tab and then in there we can set up a plane or we can use a box and kind of move that around um, I like to work with the planes, especially with this example I'll show. And then the planes, you can align. So for example, right now we're on the plane one and we can see it. We can turn it off by, by clicking that little light button. But with it selected, we can align it to um, a different area. So we can you know go to top, change it to the top of the um, model. Or we can go in there and use the uh, align to view we can uh, do align to surface and align to align. Um, align to surface is kind of useful because um, you can just select a surface and then you're good to go. Um, but I like to just use top because then I know it's it's straight and we're pretty much good to go to use it. Um, with that set up, you can then just kind of section your plans move it in place and then now you have a good um, plan that you can start dimensioning from so if we take a look at uh, review tab we can do some measures and stuff and get an idea of what the space is this is a little bit easier to kind of look at especially when more people are used to looking at this view you know um, exactly what kind of uh, 2d plans uh, look like so setting it up like this, maybe to present, even to, um, you know, go to your viewpoint ta uh, tab and saving some viewpoints over here so that you can quickly jump to these different views would be uh, incredibly helpful. Um, I'm not entirely sure if your viewpoints will save uh, the orthographic and perspective. I'm sure it will. Um, and we can test that out right now by just switching it to keeping it with orth orthographic we can save it all right so we've set up that viewpoint so we'll go ahead and switch this to perspective and then we'll kind of shift it around so that we know we switched out of that um, view and we'll go in there and click this viewpoint and it looks like it yeah it looks like it changed its orthographic so yeah if you apply whatever it is um, perspective or orthographic it's gonna keep those overrides on your viewpoint so keep that in mind and then you can set up some pretty cool useful um, sections or elevations whatever um, over here in your save viewpoint so that when you're in a meeting and stuff you can effectively kind of go through different viewpoints um, and each one being either orthographic or uh, perspective so hopefully this helps you um, i appreciate you guys watching um, like share comment let me know if you have any questions um, thanks